Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. And today we're looking at saving and recovering patterns in Illustrator. Now I've already gone ahead and created some patterns in this particular file and they all appear inside the swatches panel. But if I go and create a brand new file, you'll see that these patterns are not available in the pattern swatches and that's the way Illustrator works. So if we want to be able to use these pattern swatches elsewhere, we're going to have to save them. So here's what you do. Once you've created your pattern swatches, you can of course save this file because you may want to do things with it. But this is how we save the swatches so we can reuse them. First of all, I'm going to remove everything from the swatches panel that I don't need. And so that's going to be all the color swatches and any pattern swatches that also appear here. So I'm just going to go and select all of this and delete it. Now there are some things that you can't delete. You can't delete this none and you can't delete the registration, but you'll want to delete everything else so that all you have left are your pattern swatches. And now we're going to save this. So we're going to the flyout menu. I'm going to choose Save Swatch Library as AI. It has to be AI, you can't use ASE for this purpose. Illustrator is going to open up the location where your pattern swatches need to be saved. And I'm just going to call this dots and flowers. It's saved as an AI file and I'll click save. Now I can close this file. I can save it if I wish to or not. But my patterns are going to be available to any document in Illustrator now. So when I create a brand new document, let's just do that again so we're sure about what's happening here. The swatches are not available in the swatches palette. You just get your default set of swatches. So you'll go to the flyout menu and you'll choose open swatch library and then you'll go to user defined. And here is where you'll find your user defined patterns and color swatches. And here are dots and flowers. So my panel has now opened and my dots and flowers are now accessible to this document. If I want to move my pattern pieces over into the swatch here, I can do so. I'm just going to click on the first one, shift click on the last. I'm going to grab these. I'm just going to pull them over so that they all sit in this panel now and I can close this up. So they're now in the swatches panel for this particular document, but they're going to be accessible via the menu here open swatch library, user defined patterns and just go and select it in any document in Illustrator in future. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned now how to save and recover patterns in Illustrator. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.